Hi, so welcome back to Silver Creek Doodles. Billy Jenkins here. So I wanted to go over what we're gonna do today. Our puppies are seven weeks old. It is Saturday, April 30th. Um, we're going to microchip with the Phi Nano microchips. Um, and then we are going to vaccinate with our Distemper and Parvo. See the glare on that. December and Parvo vaccines. Um, I'm going to talk about that and what's in it and why I chose to do this vaccine. Um, and I'll show you kind of how we, you know, take our syringes out and pull up each vaccine for each litter. How we make sure that we check off the microchip, check off the vaccine exactly after we do it so we know it's done. I also have. We used to do data marks in the pet links. I've also got a microchip reader that we are going to get that set up and we're gonna scan to make sure that each puppy is microchipped and it went in correctly. I was a vet tech for seven years at our holistic vet in our hometown, which is where we go to, Bonnie Bray. So um, I've done all this stuff for a really long time for the vet, so that's why we do it here at seven weeks old. So we take the puppies to the vet at six weeks, get them checked out, get their fecal done. And then that's too early for a vaccine, but I wanna make sure, so our puppies leave at eight weeks. So six weeks is the vet exam, seven weeks is the vaccine. And then um, we will, there's, I, I want from six to eight weeks because if there's any issues that we have to get rechecked, um, that we're able to have enough time to take the puppy back before it has to leave. So that's our reason for doing that. Um, but let's get in and show you kind of how we do it and we get things pulled up and get everything labeled and we'll show you how we do it. All right, so we have our scale out too. So here is our, I'm gonna cover these people's information, but our chart. So each litter has their own chart like I've shown before. And um, what we're gonna do is, just like we normally do, each puppy also has their own sheet. So we're gonna go through and on week seven, put their weight down. And we're not gonna, you know, make the chart yet. I'll show you, so this week, we're actually gonna start deworming with the safeguard, and um, which says a, a dewormer that can also cover Giardia, because that is, something that we do not want the puppies going home with. So, and they've been negative, like our vet exam, we did the fecal and it was negative and that's fine. But so safeguard will deworm, roundworms, whipworms, um, you know, Giardia, and then we'll also do metronidazole, which helps settle their stomach throughout this period too. We'll start today, we do metronidazole twice a day and then the um, safeguard once a day. So it's gonna be a lot of handling and this cart moved around as we get puppies in and out from the feeding stations from their crates. But um, that'll be pretty good. It gets them on um, routine of being, they're handled. They're getting handled a lot, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, so what we'll start out with first is preparing the um, vaccines, which actually did stick the vaccines back in the fridge because we're not, once we pull them up is when um, we get them out, they have to stay cool. But we've got these vaccines like this. They're three cc syringes with um, 22 gauge needles. So you just pop them right out. Similarly, those here. Just like that. It just helps doing everything kind of in bulk. So we are not going to do Carol's litter today. So Maya and Todd and Olivia's litter is seven weeks old today, Carol's tomorrow. We will do their microchips, but we're gonna wait on their vaccines. We'll do them tomorrow. We could do them today, you know, to make it easy. We could do everybody tomorrow to make it easy, but I like things to be <laughs> precise and they're supposed to be done at seven weeks old. So that's what I like to do. And again, if you, um, haven't been on our channel before and this is your first time, thanks for watching. You've been back. If you're you know, already following us and you're subscribed, thank you so much. Definitely helps. We want our families to be able to see kind of what we're doing with our puppies and how we raise and stuff like that and even people that are interested later. So if you aren't subscribed, hit the link below. Um, you know, Do a thumbs up and a comment. There's also a bell icon that you can click 
to um, you know notify you when we upload new videos. Do all that. Yeah, so make comments and let us know if you wanna see certain things, if you wanna see videos of puppies one-on-one -on -one, um, with us or if you, act, whatever you want, let us know. We'll try to get it done. And then two, which if you've watched some videos before, I've kind of gotten into plants. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, and it's so funny because I do love the plants, <laughs> but um, my things that I like is like to buy a mother plant, to buy something that I can propagate, and I'm propagating a lot. <laughs> you know, plants are expensive. But, um, but what I'm wanting to do is, you know, buying these mother plants, propagating. Some might take, you know, to start growing roots will take a few days. Some take a month or two before they start growing roots, and we've got to have roots big enough and strong enough with care every week, you know, to make sure the water's clean, everything's staying fine and then get them in soil, keep them wet. Once they get fully rooted, then I'm gonna, you know, I want to give them away. And who knows, I might get to a point where we could sell some, who knows. But um, my biggest thing is just like my family, I know my sister likes plants, um, my oldest daughter, Maddie, she likes plants and stuff like that. So I know the plants that I like, like philodendrons and pothos and all kinds of stuff. I'll show you kind of what all we got. So once we get to the end of the puppy part, which I'll show you, you can, if you're just here for the puppies, you can quit watching or you're welcome to kind of watch and go through the plant part. So I think it's pretty cool. I'll try to not be too long with that just to kind of show you what we do. All right, so here's all of our syringes. I'm going to, I went ahead and got all 18 out. Um, and one thing I wanted to remind you too, that if um, one option that we give our, our pet people is if um, you want your vet to give the first vaccine, you're welcome to do that. Our puppies do, their contract goes on a schedule that you have to stay on for the vaccines. Again, since I was a vet tech, I know what over vaccinating can do. Um, just like I got, I got the rabies vaccine when I was 20. It's a set of three series my body had a reaction I have autoimmune. So I've dealt with autoimmune, you know, issues and stuff, dealing with autoimmune now for 11 years. And it's, it can be, you know, a daily battle, or if you get your medication, you know, on schedule and everything is good, then, you know, we can keep it under control. So it, that's just the thing that we don't want is we don't want our dogs to have clusters of vaccines too close together. Um, we want vaccines to be spread out. And I know throughout working at the vet, in studies like when you do the distemper and perp like so since the puppies have been sucking mom's milk they have their antibodies now when we do the vaccine at seven weeks they're going to have those antibodies in their system for four weeks and then so what we're going to do is every four weeks you're going to get them so they're going to have to have a vaccine at seven weeks 11 weeks and 15 weeks at the age of 15 weeks that that vaccine can last for a year so we're gonna stop that vaccine and we'll do another one in a year, but then four weeks later, so 19 weeks, you can do the rabies vaccine. Now the Bordetella, which is also kennel cough, if you're already taking your puppy out places and you know, obviously they're gonna have to have their eyes trimmed, their toenails done and all that if you don't know how to do it, which I'm happy to help you um, if you're one of our puppy buyers, or not a puppy buyer, but if you're one of ours and um, want to, know about how to do that i'm happy to help but um but yeah so the bordetella vaccine so if the last december and parvo vaccine you can kind of cluster the bordetella with that one or you can wait and do bordetella with the rabies but then after 19 weeks your puppy's fully vaccinated and we will not say fully covered to go out places i do know dogs that have gotten sick or have gotten something once they've been vaccinated. I don't think it's, we can't really compare it to COVID uh, because people that are vaccinated have still gotten COVID and stuff like that. But, um, you know, these, these vaccines have been around for a long time, so we know they work, but you still have to be careful. You don't want your dog going to places where there's been sick dogs and stuff like that, even if they're vaccinated. So just be cautious. But so what we're gonna do, here is the five vaccines for Carol's puppies. We're gonna set those to the side. Those are the syringes, not the vaccines yet, but the syringes. So we have our other ones, litter of eight and litter of five. So what I'm gonna do is twist the needle off and put it to the side on each vaccine like this. And obviously our table is clear. We don't, we never wanna set down any needle. Nothing's gonna go inside of it right now, but this is all sterile. So we just wanna make sure that, you know, 
it's kept as sterile as we can. So we're gonna keep one lid with, or one needle with um, one syringe. What we're gonna do is, and I'll show you, we're gonna stick it in the liquid part, pull it up, and then put that liquid part in the dry part. And then you mix the two together. It's two different vials to make one vaccine. One's dry and one's wet, and you have to combine it. And then kind of do like this and shake it, pull it back up, take this off and put a new needle on, and that's gonna make sure that your needle is sharp and sterile. And we're just gonna use this needle every time, you know, once we take it off of this one, put it on this one, pull it up. So we're only wasting one needle instead of 13 today, 13 um, of those. So yes, yeah, so let me get the vaccines again out of the fridge and I'll show you how we pull those up. And now with the microchip. So we use the Phi Nano and I usually do these actually at six weeks. So at the vet, they can scan and just mark it. So it's like an extra verification for you that they're in, that the puppy has a microchip. But when I, <laughs> I have this box in my um, closet and when I went to get it out, there was only three, we have 18 puppies, um, which they got them. So I went ahead and went on and ordered and they got me, I ordered two more boxes, but they went ahead and got them to me within a few days. So I thought I'd do it at the same time that we video so you can see the needles are once we get these labeled what we're going to do is we're going to write the puppy's name on here so we've got those set up and labeled with a vaccine so every time we get a puppy out we weigh do the microchip do the vaccine and then um, we will take their puppy pictures today too because they're seven weeks old so we're gonna let them down let them play get them all <laughs> Try to get them more out because that's what we do for pictures. And then um, with the, on the vials that has the vaccine, we will save those and put them in your folder on the chart. So it shows you that we've given that vaccine and the date that we gave it. And then also these microchips, they've got a scan in here um, with their number of how to do it with the name on it. It's going to be um, stapled into each individual puppies folder. So you've got your own um, vaccine with, you know, their, your card with the number on there. So we're gonna get each microchip, puppy's name written on it, which litter, get them all set up. Tell you what, so let's start with Maya's litter first. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get each puppy's collar written on there so we know who it is. Red, blue, purple, orange, and pink. Get them written on here. We'll get the five vaccines pulled up and then we will be back to show you how we do it. All right, so I went and got five vaccines. So we've got the sterile dilute and then we've got the vaccine. Um, so this vaccine has, it's actually a DAPPV edge and um, it's a vaccine that my vet gives the holistic vet. Um, it is more expensive than all of the others, but we do it because of the ingredients and it's also only half of the amount that, you know, combine it where it's only half and it's a live virus, modified live. So, um, yeah, we do it cause that's what my vet does and we don't kind of skip out on going and getting, you know, the five way vaccine from Tractor Supply where we don't know how it was stored and all of that stuff. We know this vaccine was stored correctly. It was shipped from make sure that when I know it's going to be delivered, I'm here. Um, so it doesn't sit out, you know, in the, in the sun. So I've taken the lid off of the syringe. We've got our dilute and then the dry. So what I do is I just stick it in there. And now the sterile dilute is a half a cc. So also pull up a little bit of air and I go in and it pulls it up on its own. Shake it around. All right, and then there is a bevel on like a, like if you know how a syringe is, it's got a spot where it pulls it up. It's not at the top, it's, you know, pointed with a bevel on one side. So, which you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in. But um, you wanna make sure that you lean the vaccine to that side, pull it all up. So you wanna get up as much as you can, all of it, obviously. Put the lid back on, grab the new needle, take that one off, put that one on, push, I can't see. Um, you wanna make sure that you push the air out and it's ready to give. So let me pull up these five really quick. 
And then we'll come back and label the microchips. So that was the five vaccines that we have pulled up, all with new needles on them. So we are ready to go for that. Looking at my chart, um, I did get yes from everybody to give the vaccine. So what we're gonna do is to get these microchips out. We'll do the three really quick out of here. All right, so we are gonna have red male in Mayas. See, it's gonna be like that. Red male and Mayas. And then, um, yeah, we'll do the rest of them real quick. Blue male and Mayas. Purple female and Mayas. So two, we've actually, all right, so let's open this other one. So we do have two available puppies in Maya's litter. Um, orange collar, which she has an underbite. Um, you can't really tell, it's actually really cute um, for her face. She's kind of got more of a um, bulky face right here and it's just because her jaw's a little pushed out. It's, it's just cosmetic. Her canines are lined up perfectly. So it's just the front. So the front teeth should come here, back teeth are here. And then hers is just like this. <laughs> um, canines are lined up correctly though, so there's not gonna be any issues there. Um, but it is what it is, that's okay. Um, it's just like people, you know, we can't have perfect teeth, you know, we, we can't give dogs braces. So it's, it's just characteristics that they have. When you've got two different breeds, one that's large and one that's small, so when, we're breed, when it's in the genetics, of big dogs and small dogs teeth can you know the teeth can have a little bit of issues being perfect um but it's cosmetic it's just cosmetic in this part of it so and then little pink girl she is precious um but available so we'll we'll get some more pictures and videos and get her out there hopefully she'll find a home really soon all right so orange female and mayas And then pink. All right, so let's take a peek at how we have our table laid out. So here's our setup. We've got all the puppies, microchips, vaccines. Here is the vaccine parts that we put in the puppy's packet with their vet notes. We're also gonna weigh each puppy. And then here is our charts where we're gonna do the weights. Don't wanna show that too much for the people's information on there. But um, here's also our puppy setup where we're gonna put each litter as we do it so the other litters aren't kind of yakking at us so we can hear them. So let's go get them. So there's two. I hear you. All right, y'all better keep this area clean. You hear? No pottying in here. We just get to play. All right. All right, so let's start with Mr. Red. So <laughs> at this age, it also gets hard to weigh them. We'll see if we can get their feet in there and stuff, just because they're so wiggly. Not that it's hard to weigh, but I hear you. All right, here's the vaccine. We're gonna open up. The microchip part. You wanna keep the papers in there because that's what has their codes on it. And then there's this blue part that you have to take off for it to actually work. So let's put that there. Let's get Mr. Blue. <gasps> Where's he at? 
There he is. All right. So how I try to always do this is to stick all feet in. Six pounds, 3.7 ounces. That was good. You're a good baby. All right, let me set this to the side. And also the vaccine tops. All right. What I always like to do, so the vaccine we always know. So anytime you give a vaccine, you have to know where it's given. So I am going to, um, it's always given on the left shoulder. So the distemper parvo, take it, pull the skin up, stick it through, pull it for there's a suction, push it through. So learn it as a vet tech. And you've seen that he didn't, hey, hey, stop. So you see that he didn't make a peep because the needle was sharp. And I was fast, you know, I didn't kind of mess around with him. He's happy, he's a happy. Maybe the next litters, I'll leave in their area and just bring them out one by one and let them play later. Um, I know, they just want to be held. Um, all right, so there was the vaccine. Throw that away. All right, now the microchip is kind of a little bit of a different story. It also is beveled needle, but it's big. So, um, but what you also do, I always scratch them. And then pick up the skin, push in fast and hard, put the skin around it, I can feel it's not going through, and push it through. And then pull my fingers out. And then there's always a chance that the vaccine could come back out with it. I see the hole, the vaccine's not there. Of course, it's not bleeding. Sometimes we will have some bleed. But you didn't even make a peep. Thank you so much. That's so nice. All right, this is Mr. Red Boy. And he is so sweet. You're not gonna look at the camera. You're looking at your brothers and sisters. He's a sweet boy. And he's spoken for. You're spoken for, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right. So, I'm gonna put all this up so we don't get it misplaced. And his is already done. And next is purple. I'm just gonna leave the chart on that side just so it's not in the way. All right. Purple's microchip, purple's vaccine. I'm gonna stick her paper over here too. I'm gonna move the blue part off of it. You just gotta make sure because it doesn't have anything holding it back. So when that blue part's there, it's holding it from being gotten. All right, so here's Miss Purple. So one of the things too on Puppy Pick, she is smaller of her and orange, they look a lot alike. She is the smaller puppy. Um, but one of the things that, like I said, orange has the underbite. I worry that she might have one too. She's pretty cute, but she doesn't. So that's good. The family's gonna be very happy about that. Um, not just happy. They said that they would take her even if she had an underbite. Five pounds, 13.6 ounces. All right, so same thing. Left shoulder, purple's vaccine. Make a tent, push it through, pull it back to make sure there's a suction. And when I say to make sure there's a suction, if you pull back and it stays, then you've went through and that's very common. So I don't want to waste the vaccine or not let her get it. Um, but yeah, so we definitely want to make sure that we didn't pull through. So that was good. Here's her microchip again. And I guess on camera, I should not use my mouth. We always do. Did that at the bit. Um, but I'm the only one touching any of these, so that's probably fine. Again, when I put in the microchip, I put the beveled end up. So I'll scratch. 
make a tent, push through, pop through. You're a good girl. She whined a little, but not much. I don't see nothing, so that's good. So it's in there, and we'll scan everybody after a while, after we make sure that the hole is closed, because there there's one time that I ever had a puppy when I was cleaning the crates out after they ate, I found it, I found the microchip in there. And um, it had to have been that when he just sat down, the way it fell out the back. So we always, now we make sure that it doesn't fall out. It's only happened once. What do you think, honey? Oh, they're so sweet. So this is Miss Purple. Say hi. She's so sweet. All right, let's put her up. All right, so next is Miss Pink. Vaccine. I see you, Miss Orange. They're playing now. Maybe I just will kind of not, I'll let them in there a minute with the other litters. Um, and then just let them play a minute so they're not crying. Darn it. Let's try to get this out. There we go. These things are always hard. All right, so here's Miss Pink's. Make sure all her paperwork stays in there. Take off the blue part. Set hers over here. All right, there's her two things. Oh, come on, Pink. <gasps> I see you. Come on. So her tan markings, which is the red, which is tan, <laughs> but um, is a little bit lighter than the others. She is so sweet, um, but you're gonna have to calm down. She's a sweet girl. They're just super, super loving. I know, I know. Six pounds, 2.4 ounces. All right, so same thing. Vaccine left shoulder. Make a tent, push through, pull, there's a suction, going in. She didn't make a peep. They usually don't even know you do the vaccines besides being held. Um, put that syringe over there. Don't you? Yes, you do. And then um, the microchips, they do a little bit more because obviously it's bigger. Scratch it, do a tent, push through, I can feel it through, pop it, and I don't see nothing. <laughs> You're done for now, sassy pants. All right, so she's up. So we got two more, orange and blue. Orange will be next because blue is the last one born. So let's get oranges together. I don't know why this one was so easy to come apart. Another one was it? All right, take the blue part off so it's ready. There's the vaccine. I'm gonna stick this over here. All right, let's get Miss Orange. Where is she? Where is she? I know. There you are. All right. She's pretty bulky too. She's just. She's got. <laughs> You're so cute. Let's show the camera close up. This is so funny. I mean, it is funny, but. Oh, let's hold you a different way. See her on your bike? It's so cute. It's not bad. I mean, her canines and stuff line up correctly. Sorry, it's a different angle, but it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to do by myself. All right. Vaccine, left shoulder, push through, pull back, there's suction, so give it. We want it all to get in there. Take the top off, make sure the bevel is upright, scratch, tent, push through. She didn't even make a peep, push. 
And that is it. Now we gotta get you wet. All right, I think you're my big girl. Bulky girl, got big bones. Six pounds, 14.2 ounces. Good girl. Every week they've kind of been gaining like a pound or a pound and some, and they've slowed back this week a little bit. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have to get pink. I don't think I did her like this. I'm gonna grab her and bring her back. Man, she's cute. Looks like you got chip, chipmunk cheeks. Chipmunk cheeks, so sweet. All right, where's Miss Pink? Let's show you again. Come on, let's show you again. Come here, Pinky Pink. Come on. I usually grab them by the scruff to move them, like just to get them used to rough, rough handling, but I don't after I do their vaccines for a day or two, just cause I don't want, I mean, not their vaccines, their microchips, just cause I don't want them to be sore. There's Pink. And everybody's barking. Our outside dog is barking. Look. You're looking at your brothers and sisters. I know you're next, Blue. There she is. There she is. Cute as a button. All right, last but not least, let's get this stuff over here. And our paper ready to write. So Mr. Blue. And you're the one talking to me. You'll wish I forget about you. You'll wish I forgot. He's like, eh, it's not that bad. All right, so. Oh. Microchip is out. Blue part is taken off. I'm going to set this over here, throw away the blue thing. All right, come here, blue boy. I know, there you are. All right. And he's already spoken for too, and he's super cute. <gasps> super cute. All right, vaccine, left shoulder, tent, push, pull through. There's a suction. So give it, oh, darn it, I put that in my mouth again. Sorry. Um, Microchip, bevel is up, scratch, 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 tent, push through, pop, and it is in, and there's nothing showing. All right, last but not least, I dropped this. This is weight. All right, feet are in, six pounds, 10 ounces. Whoa, you're a big boy. I gotta show them to the camera, hold on. See, same, he's only gained like six ounces this week, which is fine. Say hi. Say hi. Say I'm blue boy. Yeah, he's cute. He's a cute boy. <laughs> All right, so that sums it up right now, besides getting the um, deworming, all of that stuff written up and divided and all of that to make sure we know the dosage for each puppy. And then um, I'll get that chart made. I, use, I like to type it in and print it just so then I can check it off because um, I have a chart already made for that. And then we will go through maybe when they go and eat at lunch, we'll just pull this thing right in there and do it as we after they eat, we'll just get them out, give them the deworming and put them back up. So yeah, we'll start that today though. They're playing, let me show you. All right, I love to let them play for a little bit longer, but 
We've got to get to the next letter. So it's Olivia today. We'll also do Carol's weight and microchips just so we've got it all in the same video um, just so we can get this posted. But let's get them put back up. They can play in their area, which is actually bigger than this, so they'll enjoy it. <laughs> and then let them outside to potty and we'll be back with Olivia's litter. <laughs> all right, so we're actually gonna do um, Carol's litter first. Yeah. And of course we're not vaccinating today. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and weigh and do Man, they like new places. Way and do the microchips. Oh, I see, I see. All right, let's see them one by one. All right, so we got Carol's microchips. Um, the puppies got them labeled. Um, we're gonna start with purple. And again, we're doing the vaccine tomorrow because there's because they're seven weeks old tomorrow. But we are gonna do. Um, the microchips and weigh them so we can get our deworming schedule all wrote up. All right. God, these things are so difficult. I guess to keep them sterile. All right, so take this blue part off and we're going to start with purple. Come here. Come here, purple. Come on. So purple is our wavy collared um, tuxedo from this litter. Look at her. She's so cute. Um, well, let's see if we can get their weights. Stay. Stop. Seven pounds, 8.9 ounces. I would not think this is the most, this is like one of our quietest litters we've ever had. And I did not think that they'd be fussy. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Make a tip. <laughs> hey, stop. All right, so what I like to do, like you see, she's been a little, stop, been a little fussy. So I do, not that I get rough with them, but you do kind of have to put a stern hold on them or a stern hand just because they have to know they've got to listen. Um, so you kind of, obviously you don't want to be mean, but you have to do what you got to do. So until she gets calm, stick it in, pop it through, pull it out. And that was good for her. And there's Miss Purple. She's already got a horn. And she's so cute. All right, I hear you, I hear you. All right, let's see who's next. On our paper. Let's put this over here so we don't get it mixed. All right, pink is next. Now pink is our party girl. She's mainly white. I love her. I was wishing that Toby would let me keep her to breed with Kevin because they would hopefully have all tuxedos. That would be like perfect. But I haven't talked to him into it yet. So if she stays in sold in a week in a week or two, maybe I can find a guardian home and keep her. Um, take off the blue part. All right, come here, purple girl. Come on. I mean, not purple girl, pink girl, sorry. All right, so this, I know to stay. And there, this whole litter is so sweet. So here, so hold your ears, funky. It's so funny. It comes from Carol. See how she's holding her ears down? Oh my goodness. I kind of, I don't like that look. <laughs> she's holding them flat to her head, but she will perk them up. And you see like in my pictures and stuff, get them to perk those ears up, yes. All right. So we're not going to show you off with you holding your ears like that. It's not cute. It's not cute. <laughs> All right, so let's get her weight. Hey, stop. It's harder 
the bigger they get because they can't fit in this. Hey, stop. Stay still. All right, I've got to move this because she's not listening. All right. So I'm going to have her look at me, maybe, because that's what she's wanting. Stop. You need to sit still. Seven pounds, 3.4 ounces. Is that all it took, you sassy girl? All right. So the microchip is ready. Bevel side up. Scratch, scratch, scratch. You see, they don't really react much, I know. It's kind of scary, but you just gotta do it fast and get it done. Do it fast and get it done. Can we talk Toby into letting you find a guardian home? Because you're so pretty. Prick your ears up so we can see you. There, she's a little bit, a little bit better, not flaring the bottoms out, but she's so cute. All right, let's put her up and get another. Put the needle up, let's see who's next. All right, Red Boy. Let's do this over there. All right. Todd's at the side of their fence, licking them. He's a good boy. I really like that he lives with us because he plays really nice with the with the puppies. Gets them used to being around bigger dogs. Dang it, why can't I get this? All right. Having all kinds of difficulties. All right, so this one is red. All right, where's Red Boy? Where's Red Boy? All right, so here is our Red Boy. He is also a party. He's also holding his ears down, but he can hold them up real pretty. Now, one thing with him is he does shed a little. Um, he actually has a really nice coat. He doesn't look like it, but like I haven't done anything to him, so he's sure he has some dead hair in there. Oh, can you see? Up against my shirt. See the hair. So he does shed some. Um, it's not horrible. Um, you know, it's not going to be super, super bad, but I'm not going to sell him to a family that I know wants a non shedding dog. It's just not fair. Um, so, yeah. So. But he's available, I haven't sold him yet. <laughs> All right, let's get your weight real quick. Let's see if we can get you to sit still. Hey. Hey, sit still. All right. And that's just, you might have to get just a little sturdy handed with him and it kind of puts him back in line. Seven pounds, 1.3 ounces. All right. Okay. All right. Bevel side up. Make a tent. Push through. I hear you grumbling. All right, show the camera your pretty face. You're a good boy. Uh, now you hold your ears down. Don't do that. We don't want you to hold your ears down. All right, on to the next one. Let me see. I bet orange is next. Let me see. Nope, blue's next. I thought blue was last born. Oh no, because it was the last tuxedo. They all run together a little. <gasps> all right, get 
this out, put that back in. We are doing blue boy. Come here, blue boy. <gasps> Come on, you handsome fella. I know it. So these are curly red. You're gonna hold your ears down too? Yes, y'all get that from your mother. Yeah, you do. I know, look at the camera, nice. There's my pretty boy. Yes. <laughs> Holding your ears down. All right, so let's see. You get yours. All right, stay. Hey, stay. Six pounds, nine ounces. All right, and I did not take the blue thing off, but you're pretty good to hold, so that's okay. So we did have a family that was getting him, well, that is getting him, and they, um, the husband has allergies, and I did notice that, well, we actually run blood work on him, and he does have one furnishing, which is like Dave, which could have them shed a little. And I showed them, I kept like showing them each time. Like, see, I'm not getting anything from him like I would. Oh, there's two. So, and they came and I, I'm completely open, um, you know, with shedding and stuff. Because a lot, you know, a lot of people like that because their hair could be easier to maintain. Yes. And the shedding is not bad. It's not going to be any, my dogs, these ones that I have, it's not going to be anything like a golden retriever or anything like that. Um, see, your legs aren't shedding either. Usually it's the back of the head, which nothing, or the back, see there's one. So, and they, and they do know, um, but they did come and visit him, they let him lick. Allergies come from the dander and the saliva. Um, he licked all over dad and, you know, he rubbed him and all that good stuff. And he didn't have any allergies. So, I hope it doesn't come up. That is the hardest thing with allergies is because it can get worse, they can get better. Um, someone, I actually did have a kid one time that came and it was my two furnishing litter, all the puppies, they come to visit and the, the kid had never been around a dog and not had allergies. And it was the same thing, even though, um, are you chewing my hair? Even though, ours were non-shedding you know but they still just had the, the and it was they let him look like that and he had a few whelps come up so i hate that for him and hopefully he'll grow out of it what about you hmm? all right we gotta do orange girl we gotta do orange girl you want to show your pretty face again <gasps> yes you do he's a nice stocky oh sorry a nice stocky boy he's got a really 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 good build i like you a lot Yes, I do. All right, let's do orange girl. Oh, I hear you. All right, they're so rambunctious right now. All right, here's Miss Orange Girl. She's super cute too, super pretty. She already has a family she's going to. I love this half mustache. Um, isn't she so cute? She's curly. Um, darn it, I didn't get this out yet. You're my last puppy of the litter and I just didn't have it all right. We've really enjoy all these last litters that we've had. Of course, it's hard work, you know, it's super busy, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Stick these papers back in. All right. So take the blue part off. Get her down, scratch her neck, bevel side up, stick, feel, push, you're a good girl. And I, don't, I see the hole, but I don't see nothing else. I see it. And the holes normally do not bleed or anything, it just there's a little hole in the skin. And we do go at an angle. Six pounds, 14.6 ounces. You are such a good girl. You were such a good girl, weren't you? All right, let me write this down before I forget it. All right. So yeah, 
Okay, well, this is it for y'all. You get your vaccines tomorrow, don't you? All right, let's go get Olivia's. Yeah, Olivia's need it. I'm still waiting on one family. That's why I try to do them last. I'm still waiting on one family to text me back about the vaccine on Yellow Girl, but I might just wait. I'll give it today if they don't text me back, like tonight. But I'm not going to pull it up yet because they might um, decline the vaccine. I haven't. They're the only people I haven't heard from yet. All right, let's go get them. Well, I've moved Olivia's litter in, but we are, um, well, thankfully, we have to pull up the vaccines, but we're going to give them a minute because they're talking quite a bit. So give us a minute. We'll be back when they calm down. Seven vaccines pulled up, six microchips, not one for yellow yet. And these dilute vials, I'm gonna toss in the trash. And these other ones that have the labels on them, I'm gonna save to put on the vaccine carts. And let me get the chart. And we will start with pink. She was the first one born. So here's pink. And she's spoken for. Take the blue part off. They said yes to a vaccine. All right, there's Miss Pink. All right, let's give her weight. Five pounds, two ounces. I've seen it. Vaccine on the left shoulder. There was suction, so we gave it. Beveled side up, scratch, scratch, scratch. I know, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey, you're a good girl. And it's in. Good girl, you're so sweet. All right. Oh, let's show her. There's eight, but. So that was Miss Pink. Next is Miss Purple. Come on, Purple Girl. She's our lightest one. Well, lightest tuxedo. She's the same color of a few more, but. Here's Purple. She also has um, an underbite like one of our Bernie Doodles, but it's the canines line up correctly. Let me show you. It's so hard with only one hand. See? It's not bad. It's just the front teeth um, are the opposite direction. And I 
hold it and get your stuff ready. And since she doesn't have a home, we do go ahead and do the vaccine. All right, so vaccine first, left shoulder, do a tent, go through. Oh, see, I went all the way through because it didn't suction. So I didn't want to waste it. So I get the air back out of it. I'll have to poke her again. Sorry, purple. Pull, go through, pull back. There's a suction. So that means it was in. So that's a good example that if I...
and my voice was off, but I saw my little markers showing that it wasn't going. So my microphone must have died. Um, so yeah, so we'll get that charged um, and do the plants after a little while. After we get that worked out, but um, yeah, so sorry for that. So pretty much if, I don't know how far back it went until I look, but pretty much we did the vaccines. I did get a text from Yellow Collar's mom saying to do the vaccine, so I'm gonna go pull it up and um, we'll give it to her before putting them back in their puppy area. So, but that means that Maya and Olivia's puppies all got vaccinated and microchipped and weighed. Um, and then we're gonna work out the deworming schedule and do that until they leave um, every day. And then um, Carol's litter got weighed and microchipped, but vaccines are tomorrow. So. Um, yeah, again, thanks for following um, and watching us, but please hit the subscribe link below. Um, click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we upload a new video, and give us a comment and let us know what you think about everything. Um, but yeah, so if you want to follow also with the plants, then you can watch the rest of the video. So, see you next time. Also, just for a quick verification, here is Yellow's. Vaccine, getting pulled up and mixed. outside and then we will get him fed lunch. Thank you.